climate science can be traced back to the 1800s when a researcher named Savante Arrhenius calculated the human impact on global warming. It was recognized that um, greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide actually trap heat in the system and that's what makes uh, Earth a habitable place. In 1988, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change was established by the World Meteorological Organization and the United Nations Environmental Program. A lot of people think the IPCC is a group of scientists. Strictly speaking, that's not true. The IPCC is a group of governments. About 190 governments from across the globe who wanted information on the state of the climate and its human origins which really is just a collection of all of the cutting edge research on climate change. It was compiled by roughly 250 of the world's leading climate scientists. The first report from the IPCC came out in 1990. Dr. Jerry Meal was and still is one of those 250 scientists involved. At the time, we thought, okay, well this is, we've done this assessment, that's it. But that was far from it. The government liked the information. As a result, come this Friday, part one of assessment number five will be released. What has really gone on as the IPCC is involved is uh, the level of detail and the level of certainty kind of goes up with each, each succeeding report. There's more and more compelling evidence uh, that it's here and that humans have a very significant role in what's underway. Part one of this new assessment deals solely with the latest climate science. What it's meant to do is to help policymakers understand how to move forward and deal with climate change. Governmental policymakers who will make those decisions that affect us all. I'm meteorologist Julie Martin, The Weather Channel.